Let's draw a landscape. Alright, let's start with the horizon line. So the horizon line is the line that divides the sky with the ground. As objects move down on the picture plane or away from the horizon line, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And as they move up on the picture plane or closer to the horizon line, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Same thing for the sky. Things that move away from the horizon line get bigger and things that get by the horizon line get smaller. So things that are by the horizon line are actually things that are far away so they look smaller and things that are away from the horizon line get bigger because they're actually closer to the viewer like these two clouds. So let's try it on the ground. Let's move away this river from the horizon line and you see it gets wider. Let's do some trees but let's not do these trees that look like popsicles or broccoli and plus they don't look realistic so none of these trees broccoli trees yeah that's what I call them for trees let's start with the branch a little branch because it's by the horizon line or far away we did the bush area like for the leaves this volcano we're gonna do overlapping the clouds let's erase the overlapping there we go remember the three parts of the landscape a background middle ground and a foreground. Alright, let's start with things on the background. Small things. They're far away, so they're small, but they're very close to the horizon line. So they're far. Alright, let's do some things on the middle ground. A little bit bigger. So bigger trunks. A common mistake kids make, or people make in general, is that they are scared to go past the horizon line. Like this. So stop, stop, stop right there because the thing is wrong. Actually, it's good. So let's do it right. There's nothing wrong, we're going past the horizon line. So go past it when you do these uh, leaves. And then erase the horizon line, it's fine. Let me get a, there we go. Now it looks like the tree is actually closer because it's overlapping what's behind. Let's make it bigger, snap, there we go. All right, now on the foreground, we're gonna do a very big palm tree. So big it overlaps the middle ground and the background and the horizon line as you can see. Let's erase the overlapping. Alright, what should we do? How about dinosaur theme? So let's start here with our ceratops. I love those. Nice and small. Why? Exactly, because it's by the background. Let's do this uh, brontosaurus. It's getting bigger. As you can see, because it's in the middle ground, not too far, not too close, but definitely bigger than the Triceratops in the back. And then I'm drinking water. All right, foreground. A big, huge Brontosaurus overlapping the uh, palm tree here, or the coconut tree, whatever. Uh, let's do. Let's erase what's inside the uh, coconut tree. That way it looks like the neck is going around. Now right, let's add some details. You guys ready? Uh -huh. Some more leaves. Some more details on the fronds. That's the palm tree. Oh yeah, the lava for sure. Shade it in so it stands out. Okay, color, let's color this in. Put some patterns. How about, yeah, some more patterns like on the Make it look like there's current on the river. Yep, just gonna put some polka dot patterns. Nobody really knows what the dinosaurs can look like, so polka dots it is. All right, let's do something really, really close, like a bush. And notice this part. I'm going to do a caterpillar. Now the caterpillar is actually gonna look bigger than the triceratops. Why? Yeah, because it's in the foreground. So it's much closer in the Triceratops. It's really, really far. There we go. It's actually overlapping the Brontosaurus. All right, a little bit more details. Let's outline it so it stands out. I like this landscape. landscape. Came out uh, pretty good. Sure, why not? 
Let's put it on turbo mode. I like how it came out. Whoa, erupted! Oh, cool! 